Hello friends, my name is Red7 and in this video we are going to recap what happened in the Tarkov world in the last two weeks. If you follow this channel then you should know by now that I struggle to cover the news as good as I can and try to keep players up to date and also upload videos every time there is enough content worthy to mention. There are several things to discuss and let's start with the most recent one, Nikita's small post on Reddit regarding the current status of the development of the patch. So Nikita says, hello children, yes this patch is huge, we are sorry that it is getting long, we are working without weekends right now so it's all about Ev all, all and everything about getting things done right now. So status update, Unity 218 migration, optimization and fixes, thanks to our friends in Unity team. Lately we got a lot of new info on how we can optimize game beta, the game beta for 0.12. Together we discovered several Unity based problems that we are going to fix together. The hideout, base mechanics are done, visuals are done as well, crafting and area bonuses in progress. So there's still a lot of work with, regarding the hideout. New map, military base, the current status, continuing polishing and optimization, lightning, lightning adjusting as, as well. Stationary weapons mechanics, the cord is almost done, is done, he says. Switch to the train exfil mechanic before switching to AGS grenade launcher. I'm not sure what this exactly means. Does, does he mean exactly what he says? That there is going to be a train exfil or exfiltration before switching to AGS grenade launcher. So that means that they're trying to, if, if I understand it correctly, they will try to work on that train exfiltration first and then on the AGS grenade launcher. So still a lot of work to be done here as well. Weapon build system ready as said in the last status update. Um, I hope they polished it because I noticed a problem with the weapon with the weapons pre-built. You can check my video on that at the f at the finish when when finishing the the pre-build of the weapon. There was one attachment missing. I hope they corrected that. Then we have character customization, first person hands polishing, everything other is done. New content added and balanced almost everything what we planned in 0 0.12. New trader and his quests, quest polishing, trader assortment is already done. Okay, that means to me or to my understanding that uh, the new trader will have certain items that he will, that will, he will probably sell. So trader assortment means to me that he already got the stuff that he needs. He, he needs to put out for the players in the shop. New bosses. Woods boss is ready. Military base boss is almost ready. Curious about that one. We have absolutely no information about the military base uh, scav boss. Third person animations overhaul and optimization. Polishing status. Adding new grass rendering with long draw distance, around 200 meters or more, with better performance than current grass. That is, that is awesome, awesome news, especially for snipers. Added new explosion effects, also very cool. And many, many other changes and fixes. And last mentioned big thing, soon you will know. Remember, in the last uh, update Nikita gave us, he said something about a surprise, so I think he's also talking about the same thing here. Everything is getting covered, every issue, keep calm, this patch gonna be epic, love, peace, PSG team. So we don't have a date, but according to my understanding or yeah, from what we can see while we read this update, there's going to be, this, this is not going to be one week or so. I think we are talking about one month at least, in my opinion. There's going to be pre-wipe events, so as soon as we start some changes at the flea market or at the traders or, you know, some new announcements, then we know we're getting closer. But I think we are still at least like at least like one month away from the patch, at least in my opinion. Another interesting news is the small footage with the surgical kit or filled dressing kit. And what you see here are two different angles for the same animation. The one on the map being the most recent one. It will fix blackout limbs and I'm really curious how it will exactly work because Nikita stated some time ago when he described this tool that it will take some time to patch 
yourself up with it and that it will have penalties like not replenishing 100% of the health of that limb and that it will probably reduce the overall health as well. We will see. It is a bit confusing, I must admit, because on the map animation we see a different field dressing kit and in the animation, in the virtual animation, we see the what looks to be like the survival kit. So I don't know, maybe they changed the animation for the survival kit and it's going to have a new one and the field dressing kit is going to have this one, the one that we see on that map. It's probably shoreline or could be military base, I'm not sure. So it is a bit confusing, but I would say let's just wait and see what happens here. I don't want to say that the survival kit and the surgical kit will do exactly the same. Let's just wait and see on, on this one. The devs also posted a screenshot with an aerial view of the new map military base with some buildings and a possible extraction area. We will have to discover what this stuff exactly means. The devs didn't say too much about it. At least I couldn't find too much info on this one. The other pictures are from an outdoor event the guys participated at. Something war tech related I would say. We also have some new weapon attachments, a wooden foregrip for the AKs, insurgency style, and a new red dot sight, the Trigican SRS, beautiful edition. We also have this enigmatic chess Kyrillic symbol picture that can mean something probably. The symbols are the ones that they have used for the new map, the military base, but if it means 219 end of beta like some guys say or something else I don't know I didn't spend too much investigating one last thing that I am very hyped for is the USEC with BDU camo I call it BDU you guys call it whatever you guys like the devs posted a while ago this picture but I didn't have the chance to talk about it until now the screenshot is right now on the background of the video left side do you guys see it or is it too camo for you it is part of the character customization and it will be very cool to see how it looks like on the maps. I guess when the patch comes some people will have problems on choosing which type of PMC they want to play with. So that should be it boys, you are now updated with I would say almost everything you need to know regarding the new patch. Thank you for watching my video, be sure to follow this channel because I am about to start a series of mini podcasts where we talk to streamers and with players about some of the game features like hardcore, blunt damage, realism, armor, how-tos, tactics, hackers and other issues and more. This way we will give the community the chance to speak up for the game or against it and share their thoughts with the rest of us. My first guest is Dan Exert, a EFT streamer and recent content creator. Please check him out on Twitch and YouTube. He's a great guy and he accepted the invitation. Also letting you know that yesterday was my last day at work, so I will definitely give streaming and content creating a try and see where this journey can take me. So I would appreciate your support. Thank you for that. I will be working on a schedule and all that good stuff, so join me and let's do this together. I will talk to you guys soon and post or repost info as soon as the devs deliver new stuff about the game. Take care and have a nice day. Peace.